Yeah. How did Nepal Guns happen? You mean how it finally worked? Worked or out. How, how, did, how, how did it finally work out? Um, basically, Nepal Guns was similar to most or all of the Pump for Peace projects, which is the biggest struggle is always getting organized with the locals, get the right materials, get the right machinery. And uh, that usually involves a lot of yelling and like really getting loud because nothing ever happens as planned. Yeah. Um, what made Nepal Ganj very different though is that we had a really, really good crew of helpers from Lalitpur, uh, from, the, from the project we had one year ago, yeah. which is Jenny and Jay who came to Nepal Ganj with me to to do all the yelling for me. So I did not have to negotiate anything. I was able to work in the excavator and on the asphalt without having to to call the asphalt plant or or find the machines or find the gravel because that was all done by Jay and Jenny. So for me, this work was almost like a meditation. I could just fully focus on on building the track and didn't have to worry about much else so it was quite amazing no that's fantastic all right uh, can we do a few can, can can you guys do me a favor and then open the instagram and then show everybody a video of exactly what we are talking about so that everybody understands exactly what happened in nepal Ganj. i wanted to keep it a secret for friends who have no idea what we were talking about well that's exactly what happened in nepal Ganj, right what two days ago or three days ago and that that is actually from yesterday. Oh, uh, and this is fresh. The, yeah, so this is just after finishing the last uh, truck of asphalt and uh, some guys were already doing the first laps. Obviously now um, it needs to be cleaned up and the landscaping needs to be done. We're going to put some red lines on there for the riders to get oriented. And then uh, at some point there's going to be the opening. No, this is this is this is awesome. By, by when do you think we're going to be completely uh, ready? Well, that depends if they if they work Nepalese speed or Swiss speed. <laughs> well, let's let's, co let's combine both. <laughs> yeah. No, but they said that uh, the opening should be in in roughly three weeks. In roughly three weeks, so yeah. kids in Nepal can should be ready in three weeks then. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's beautiful. तपाईले हाम्रो क्लिप एकदमै एन्जॉय गर्नु भयो होला अब पूरै भिडियो हेर्नको लागि चाहिँ युट्युबमा सब्स्क्राइब गर्न नबिर्सिनु होला